Today we are gonna start another week of what do we make with our Costco haul and the things that are in our Alaska freezer. But first. Hello friends, I'm Lauren and I live in Alaska with my husband Mark, our four boys and our cat Luna. Together we will shop, cook, adventure and do life in the great state of Alaska. We can't wait for you to be part of this Alaska life. I'm feeling very outnumbered at the moment. Before we get into the food this week, two quick things. One, thank you to Kathy Bear in West Virginia. She sent us an Amazon package this week with this awesome cutting board. It actually has the town of Weston or city of Weston in the middle. So my son Weston has claimed that. And she sent me her favorite Christmas movie, which I cannot wait to watch. It's called The Homecoming. Looks great. I'm excited to watch it. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Kathy, for thinking of us. This was very, very fun to receive this. We appreciate it. I feel like I need to show you this week, we are not just going off the Costco haul because we have a special birthday dinner for my son Hunter. He just turned 12. And so there's some special things that we grabbed to make him his dinner tonight, as well as tomorrow's meal for his friends coming over. So I'm gonna show you what we got from Fred Meyer, just so you have a full picture, plus the Costco stuff, plus the stuff in our freezer. Some of you have made comments on us having to pay for bags. Yes. In the city of Anchorage, the municipality put a 10 cent tax on paper bags. We are not allowed to use plastic bags. We're only allowed to use paper. I try and bring my own, but I'm terrible at remembering. So if you have to buy a bag, which I hate paper bags because they rip so quickly, you do have to pay 10 cents for them. That is a municipality of Anchorage law. Some peanut sauce. We've been out of soy sauce for a while, so I grabbed some soy sauce. This is for our fried rice today. Some very, very teriyaki. Pineapple chunks. Two things of whipped topping. Grab some vanilla pudding. Two, some club soda. I grabbed four of these. The rest must be somewhere else. Some vanilla yogurt. And then the, this is for a recipe, but then the kids wanted peach and strawberry. And I needed to grab some bacon, which I wish I had grabbed it. Uh, which I wish I'd grabbed at Costco because this was very expensive. And some green onions and a little gift for a cousin. So, oh, and then we grab these. Hunter's gonna have some friends over tomorrow for a little pizza party, so we grab some sodas. So the total for Fred Meyer was $106.72. I feel like I can never get out of there for less than at least 60, and this shows that it's true. So, got this stuff. Let's get cooking for our Sunday dinner with family for Hunter's 12th birthday. I planned on making bacon fried rice for dinner and it is better with day old rice. So I made that the night before as well as getting the bananas ready for the banana cake. First up, we're gonna make a, my favorite banana cake. Any recipe that I use, I will do my best always to put it down in the description below, a link to the recipe I'm using or the ingredients to the recipe I'm using and the directions. Eventually, all these recipes will hopefully be on our own website, which I have yet to build, but I bought the domain, thisalaskalifefamily.com, so one day, it'll all be there. I am doubling this banana cake recipe so that I can make two cakes. This is my go-to recipe and it starts with melting some butter and creaming it together with sugar. Then we add our eggs. Sour cream, salt, baking soda and flour. And last we add the smashed bananas. It is a family favorite. Weston, please go do your job in the entryway. Look at my tools of a slodge. Thank you. 
room. Six of soy. And I think If you enjoy this series of seeing what we eat in our Alaska kitchen, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel, hit that like button so that it can spread to more people, and we are so grateful that you're here. Uh, we went ice fishing the last couple days, and uh, I'm gonna sharpen up this knife so we can go clean the fish for dinner. All right, so these are the burbot we went ice fishing the last two days and got. We have. We brought home three and we got a big lake trout. And so I've cut around here and these ones you skin, they're kind of a slimy fish. Okay, you ready, Hunter? Yeah. Okay, turn, I gotta get her, tw twist it. Are you just getting it off? No, I, I gotta grab the stomach part here. We're just pulling all the skin off. Oh yeah. Woo. I don't know if I'm supposed to gut it first, but. It doesn't look like it. Doesn't... Hunter, it is really hard for me to work down here. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Just doing it like I've done every other fish. It's crazy that the like tail and this fin, you know, had the skin over it. Now they're just clear. Next on the menu is champagne salad. There's no champagne in it. I'm not sure why it's called that. This is my sister-in-law's recipe and it's a family favorite. I don't think I've ever made it. I've just always eaten it when she's made it or my sister has made it, so let's try it. Champagne salad is a creamy fruit salad that starts with mixing up room temperature cream cheese until it's nice and smooth. To that, you add Cool Whip, next some crushed pineapple. I accidentally bought pineapple cubes, so I quickly blended them before adding them to the bowl. Next comes some frozen raspberries, these are from our garden last fall, and it is all mixed together for this beautiful pink fruit salad. The last ingredient is bananas, but those need to be added right before serving so they don't turn brown. So I just put this salad in the refrigerator until dinner. Next, we are making the frosting for the banana cake. My favorite frosting is one package of room temperature cream cheese, one stick of room temperature butter creamed together, four cups of powdered sugar, a tablespoon of vanilla, and a splash of milk. This pairs perfectly with the banana cake. I planned on doing a simple striped icing and it was looking really good, but then I went too far and it got messy. So in the end, I spread it all over and called it good. Mark got to work on the burbot. It is part of the cod family and often called poor man's lobster. The recipe was simple. He cubed the fish, boiled it in sugar water, and served it with melted butter and herbs. I got started on the bacon fried rice. It is a simple recipe from Amber's Kitchen and it is a family favorite. I often add a bunch of vegetables, but I was running out of time, so we just stuck with the recipe tonight. Once the bacon was cooked, we removed it, took away some of the bacon grease, and then cooked up our onions. Hey, wait, 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 wait. 
okay, okay, those aren't not. You gotta get really. Um, but they didn't cut all the way through on those, see? Like that. Okay, Dad, I got it. Okay, make sure you go all the way through and, and not very, like, big. You know, not super big, yeah, really thin. Like that. Dad, I got it. Next, we warmed up the rice that we had cooked the night before and added in some scrambled eggs. The fried rice was topped with green onions and ready to serve, and it makes great leftovers. And just before dinner, I added the bananas to the champagne salad. Like a, yeah, it's like a crab or yeah, it's good. Almost like a okay. scallop texture. Yep. After dinner, Mark and Hunter told Grandpa all about their fishing trip and the fishing lures they used. It was a wonderful evening with family. We were just making our own ways to play. For tonight's dinner, we are going to be having bear chili. But first, I gotta get out of this new white sweater because you can't cook in a white sweater. Somehow, it stayed clean all day, so I'm gonna go change. All right, got my Alaska. This Alaska life, merch on, now we can cook. This black bear was harvested by Bennett and Mark last spring. That video is over on the Alaska Boys channel. Bear meat is slightly sweet and makes great chili. One thing you may notice is that we often cook our game meat separately and then put it off to the side with game meat. We don't like to overcook it. We find that overcooking it runs the flavor and brings out those gamey flavors. So we cook it, set it to the side, and then add it back into things like soups and chilies right at the end so we don't ruin it. For tonight's dinner, we are having a charcuterie board of veggies. Some nights we like cooked vegetables, but sometimes it's great to just set out a bunch of fresh vegetables and watch the boys start to pick at them right away as dinner is cooking. Next up, we have moose hamburgers. 
Because moose meat is extremely lean, Mark adds coconut oil to the mixture or something like breadcrumbs or eggs. Otherwise, they would crumble in the pan. With a little fat added, they make beautiful and delicious patties. Everett has become obsessed with creating salads for dinner. He loves chopping up different ingredients and making his own special concoctions. We just love letting him do it. Look at my burger. Oh, my gosh. Show us your burger. That was a good crispy. You should eat Western Everett salad. No! Yes. All right, show us your burger. Thank you. Pickles with your hands in oil. Pickles with lettuce, with tomatoes, and ketchup. No! Best sandwich ever. Underline. It's Saturday afternoon, and I am cooking up some moose barley soup. Lauren's not feeling them very well, so I've been doing a lot of the cooking. We're gonna have moose meat, uh, barley, tomatoes, um, whatever else I can find in the fridge. Celery, onions, you'll see. It'll be good. You have to put you with no snow clothes. With no snow clothes. Are we naked? It's Sunday afternoon, we got home from church, and I pulled out behind me the dehydrator right here. I'm gonna be making some moose jerky. We do this every, I don't know, every month or two, we make a batch of moose jerky, something to snack on. So, got that, I'll show you what I got over here. This right here is a, okay, that's a five pound bag of meat, and when we're processing it, we'll, we'll uh, set aside a five pound bag. That makes, that's what we like to make our batches. It works out well. Okay, so I got a bowl, a bowl here to mix up the jerky. I've got a jerky uh, kit sort of thing. I, we have we've made the spices. I've done a bunch. These are just super convenient. I get them at Cabela's. This is a hickory flavor. So in there, they've got a, um, a seasoning packet, and then they have one that's the salt, the right sodium nitrates. So I'll mix those in. And, um, and then we've got this. This is our jerky cannon. And so this is what we use to squirt out the jerky and, and let it dry. Let's make the jerky flat or circle. Okay, so everybody's talking about here, you can use a circle nozzle or a flat nozzle. Is that right? Come talk to us. You can use a circle nozzle. 
Ôi, a flat logo. Put together my cannon, Everett. It's called the Jerky Cannon. It's got the trigger. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna blast jerky into your mouth. <laughs> okay, Everett, catch it, catch it in your mouth. Open up. <laughs> okay, Everett, bring it over here. I gotta fill it up with some jerky. Here, I, I'm, I'm getting this stuff together. Well, let me get it loaded up. Okay, can you take your sweatshirt off? And then go have mom undo your buttons on your shirt. All right, so right now I am loading up the jerky cannon. It's kind of a process. You make it into kind of like a cylinder sort of fist size and get it down. You gotta load this tube and then we squirt it out. Kind of like if you've ever cocked a tub or something else like that, that's what you're essentially doing with this jerky gun. You're putting it in there and spreading it out. You squeeze it on that and then, okay. Okay, you gotta squeeze it. We gotta be moving backwards as we squeeze. Okay, you gotta just keep squeezing. Squeeze. Now squeeze again. Oh, squeeze again. Okay, now squeeze again. There we go. Okay. Okay, so here's this jerky here. You can see it, it's dried out, let it kind of air out a little bit, and then it's um, it's good to eat. There's probably jerky you get this store, but better, not greasy at all. So we are going to be, this is two pieces of salmon that are laid out, that we're gonna lay out and we're gonna have a rub with love salmon. Uh, we're gonna put some of this on. And then this is just some homemade stuff that it's a disclosed recipe, cause it's good. Okay. Uh, so we have our two pieces of meat and uh, this is gonna be with the salmon, with the rub with love. And this one, I think, is gonna be with the, this one. Look at 
Mine is. Don't look it. Okay, what's for dinner, Bennett? Show me. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. This is cool. Okay, set it up on the stove there. All right. Yum. Okay. What are you making, Bennett? Thanks for making those. It's gonna be good. Three twenty-five. Right? Okay, here you go. Hunter, fat Bob. Again? Okay, so this is a bag of all that turkey, and I'm gonna put it in the fridge, and then the kids will just snack on it. We'll take it to work and other stuff like that over the next couple weeks. Sometimes we forget about it, and then it's in the fridge for like three months. Still tastes good though. Now I gotta get all the little fine dust out. Here, yeah. watch out. I'm gonna open it up. I'm a professional. You are. Professionals totally. Hey, what's the, set the timer. Uh, I don't know. I threw the box away. Okay, better go look at it. Sorry. All right, tonight we're cooking asparagus. I've got cauliflower I'm steaming, and I've got a bunch of potatoes that I'm washing and cutting up and going to be cutting. Hey, shh, shh, quiet, Everett. Uh, steaming to have with our moose steak. We're going to have a uh, moose steak cooked in here, or maybe on the grill. We'll see. So here's a steak that Bennett seasoned. Here's the other. We both, both of them, we got these steaks. Nope. Okay, wait, we're gonna have a prayer, guys. For dinner tonight, I am making a Mississippi pot roast in the slow cooker.
This Mississippi Mousse Pot Roast with the added au jus packet was the best I've ever made. Served with some brown rice and salad, it was amazing. We finished off the night with some sourdough crepes. We added raspberries from the freezer and homemade whipped cream. It was a really fun treat. We gotta get the winning. We gotta win it. What? After? What do we have to do? Dad asked you to put the. Mom? What do you say? We hope you enjoyed seeing some of the meals we make with our Costco haul and out of our Alaskan freezer. We are so very grateful that you're here and we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye. This grapes are good. I only like three.